Hey every horse and welcome to episode 27 of the Equestria Confidential Podcast for Sunday the 19th of January 2014. I'm Owen and I'm joined by Matt and Chris and we are here in our very first live episode of that pony show that we normally do just on YouTube. How are you two doing? Um, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Lively, in fact. Uh, you, you seem to miss. Uh, you seem to miss twenty-three other people because we're live on Sonic Radio Boom right now. Oh my Isn't god! Twenty-three people are listening to us. My god! And That's apparently, a... there's still music playing in the background. <laughs> That's twenty-three Run, more people can. than usual. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, I guess. There's not really much to discuss news-wise, uh, because there hasn't been much, much news in this week of horse, but uh, we have received a couple of emails, which, uh, for those who don't know, for any new listeners, uh, emails, we, we, whenever we get an email, we read them out, because we hardly get emails. Um, and so we've got two emails this week, which is more than we normally get. I mean, like, yeah, we we like never get emails. If you're uh, an uh, um, search engine optimization spammer from Indian from India, make sure to send us plenty of emails. We yeah, get a lot. We of do them. beg for emails a lot. Just don't really get them. <laughs> no, no, it's kind of sad when you think about it. So this is a good start. Yes, our very so, first. Well, then, about these emails. Yeah, our first email is from uh, someone who's actually listening in the chat right now he is uh i am from uh, i am from austria and he uh he's a long time listener so he had some rather humorous things to say about the uh question confidential podcast made reference to uh, the fact that we are always really crap at it uh the fact that we <laughs> always talk about chairs and the fact that about a fifth of the discussion on our podcast is actually about mlp so Thank you for that. That gave me a little laugh. Uh, he asked us a couple of actually quite personal questions. Not like a personal. What is he going to ask us for, like relationship advice or something? Yes. No. He asked us some uh, some actually EQC related questions, which we haven't ever got before. So, okay. Uh, first question he asked us is what what are what are our plans for the future, if we have any? Um, uh uh, to live stream the uh, the podcast on uh, sonicradioboom.com yeah. every uh, Sunday at 9pm GMT. Yeah, yeah. basically <laughs> we are doing right now exactly what would be... We don't really have a plan for the future. I mean, this is this opportunity kind of came to us a couple of weeks ago and we jumped at it and... That that's as and it's far... going well so far. Going yeah. well. Yeah, that's as far into the future as we've thought. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, and do we? Do, We're scared. The, next, the next question is: Do we have any plans for getting more attention than you do now? Because yeah, um, not really. It'll be nice, I guess. You know, a bit of attention. It, it would be yeah. nice, but it's not anything I'm going to go and explicitly seek out. I guess. Yeah. 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 And uh, and a, uh, a kind of a, an inside joke to uh, members of the podcast and occasional listeners do you think the nightmares will come back <laughs> oh yeah i think you should take this one do i think the nightmares will come back uh, at this point I'm that's a trick it. question let's be honest that's a trick question because they were never there in the first place ah yes yeah oh no they were in the comics train um so but um yeah I, i'm really uncertain about this whole um the nightmares thing now it's a theory that i came up with uh ages ago that um that the uh, the, the main villain of the premiere would be the nightmares and that the pony of shadows was a nightmare um but uh but i don't he was wrong yeah i was wrong like always and, yeah shut up owen uh, and his crackpot theories my crackpot theories oh so yeah um Thank you very much for sending in that email. Uh, that email, I am from Austria. We uh, gave us quite a bit of a laugh with the whole uh, the little introduction. So, thanks for that. Sorry, we're so bad at answering questions. Yeah, sorry, we're just utterly terrible people. Yeah. Uh, second email comes from uh, philosophical philosophical brony. Uh, uh, just see, uh? What, you see what? Yeah, yeah. That's a Phil reference. 
it's a reference to female horses. What, what are you getting at? Young female horses. Young female horses. Okay, fine. Um, that was quite an interesting question, question, actually, and it's kind of semi-related to the episode that we're about to talk about, so it's kind of appropriate that we got this email. And the question is on something that we missed last episode, because we were too caught up in saying about how ep how good the episode was, which was um, in Pinky Apple Pie, saw Apple Bloom almost sing a licious song as she dropped the map. And uh, a philosophical brony asks us, what we think of the recent rise in memes in the show and also whether the fans calling it pandering is uh, is kind of it's whether it's justified yeah, well i guess it depends what instant you're what instance you're talking about because like um at the time the email was sent it was probably in relation to the um grumpy cat kitty mark thing no no it and was in relation to pinky apple pie was it what? So, what was a meme in that? What, I don't the, remember. No, the the um the what? Okay, they meant they meant like they was the the apple bloom singing the Appleicious song. Oh yeah, I suppose yeah, that's yeah, one. Yeah. But I mean, because that's obvious, like fan pandering. I guess that doesn't really matter too much. It lasted for a few seconds, and then it was kind of done. Yeah. If you yeah, thought... I don't really mind stuff like that too much, to be honest. Yeah, it's like um, if when it comes to fan pandering, I think the uh, <laughs> the episode that uh, preceded um, uh, Pinky Apple Pie might have a bit more pandering, but I guess we'll get into that uh, uh, when, uh, after you know, later on. But um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, well, oh uh, yeah, I will. I will probably talk a lot about that because I have some uh, rather unpopular opinions, shall we say on the state of the the appearance of a certain character in this episode so yeah okay we'll talk about that later as we get into it but yes uh, thank you very much for S philosophical brony for sending in that email and thank you we hope to hear from you soon if you listening right now have an email have any questions that you would like to ask us then please do send us an email our email address is contact at equestriaconfidential.co.uk um, and we'll try and answer them a little bit better. Yes, yeah, we will answer. We will answer them next <laughs> Emphasis week. Emphasis on try. We'll answer them next week on the podcast during the uh, the what am I saying? The the live show next week is what I meant to live. say. Live, live, yeah. Answer them live. live, live. That's such a good buzzword. Live, it is. Yeah, the moment like you say. add live on the end of anything, and it becomes pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty cool. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? We shouldn't be. We shouldn't keep talking I'm about having how this fun. is live. No. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so, I guess there is a bit of news to mention that um, that there were a couple of es uh, a couple of episode announcements, a couple of previews. There was a preview for episode twelve, which uh, which you can. Fi we're not going to mention it here because we don't talk about spoilers on the podcast but um you can go and look up that article with the preview on the website equestraconfidential.co.uk and it should be on the front page whilst you're listening if not the episode's probably already aired um and then we also got uh, an announcement for episode 13 which i personally uh kind of think that it's a bit mm, not a great sounding mm -hmm. episode, but I'm not going to say anything more. If you want to learn more about it, then again, go on the website equestraconfidential.co.uk and find the article on the website. Um, but yeah, that's all the yeah, news. Yeah, the reason we don't done. talk about spoilers on the podcast is to accommodate for me. I don't like spoilers, so <laughs> if you want to, if you want to blame anyone, then uh, uh, yeah, that's on me. <laughs> well, even so, we kind of don't want to spoil it for people who, you know, who are listening and. Don't want to be spoiled, do we? People like me. The best people. kind of people. Yeah, people like you, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I guess, with that in mind... Oh, actually, speaking of episode 12, Chris is writing a video on episode 12. So, uh, when that comes out, uh, I guess it should be on the eye for that. Hopefully yeah, with yeah. less trains. 
Yeah, hopefully with less trains in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I live next to a train station, by the way. Um, so, uh, like, I, I mean, like, Pony right next Bill to... Express. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I look out my window and I see the train tracks. So, um, yeah, if you hear, like, a train going by, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm it's, sorry it's, about that. It's for immersion. It's, like, people are imagining we're in Equestria. That is the Ponyville Express. Yes, of course. We are not live from Sonic Radio, but we are live from Equestria. <laughs> yeah, I guess with with all of the news and all the emails out of the way, I guess we might as well get right on to the episode that just aired over the weekend. That episode in particular is... Um, what was it called? Rainbow Falls. I don't remember. It was called Rainbow Falls. That was the one. Um, yeah, so... I. We'll start off, actually, with uh, general thoughts and feelings on the episode. So, Chris, general thoughts and feelings on the episode. Um, I actually, uh, I thought it was a pretty good episode. It had a lot of uh, kind of jokey, slapsticky kind of uh, uh, elements to it. It wasn't it wasn't an amazing episode. Um, the story was really flawed. Um, like, I was watching a, a Digibony. I couldn't quite put... My, my feelings in place, but then I watched Digiboni's um, analysis video on it, and I'm like, I kind of like 100% agree with this, and this is exactly why I didn't like the episode well, so much, but I mean, like, it had So you're like, going to do of... what Owen did last week, and completely steal all of Digiboni's thoughts and opinions. I did not steal his <laughs> thoughts and opinions last week. But like, it, it was a good episode, kind of, like, it had a lot of, like, um, oh God, what was his name? Bicep something. Bob um, Biceps. Yeah, I'll and get him on to him later. Being Actually, should get, goofy and should, should I get on to him now? Why not? Sure. It, like, it's, don't it's ask for my opinions. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> but like, we'll ask for your opinions after. Your opinions don't matter. They can wait. No one cares about your opinions, Matt. <laughs> Thanks, Owen. Okay. Yeah, um, tell us more about Bulk I, Biceps, I, I, which I is a great name. I too watched uh, Digivrona's analysis video, and I have to say, I completely disagree with a lot of what he had to say in that video. So kind of divided here. Um, yeah. I predict a riot. <laughs> if only we could have that just to play it on the live stream, because we can do that. Uh, no, but yeah. So I, um, so I, yeah, I, I kind of didn't. I kind of disagree with a lot of what he said. I guess I'll touch on that later. But I think bulk in particular is. I don't like the way that they've used him in this episode. Because he's not a new character. He's just been given a name now, and like, he's been in previous episodes where the most lines he ever had was yelling, yeah! And in, like, comical timing with what was going on on screen. But, um... But I guess this episode, they kind of... Uh, what kind of gets me about him is that there's this whole thing in this episode about how, like, Rainbow, Fluttershy, and Bulk are all in, kind of, the worst team. And you get the idea that they're the worst team because everyone else was busy doing something else. They were all busy off doing different events and you get the impression they can only do one event so they had to choose between one or the other. And then, But what gets me is that they had this, they had this kind of um, a character they needed to, a character, a, a role they needed to fill is what I'm saying is because um uh, yeah a role that he needed to fill that they kind of forced him into if that makes you sense you mean because he was a better flyer <laughs> yeah because, he's a be because they made because, him worse yeah because he's been a better flyer before and they made him a worse flyer just for like uh, just so he could be put in this team and then that so extends... do you think he should have had a new character instead or what's the point you're trying to get at i think yeah i think they should have had a new character in his place or they could add two derpies. What? I, I was, I was being funny. I, di I didn't actually hear what you said because it's. I uh... said they could have two derpies. Oh, two derpies. Oh. Double entering. <laughs> I don't. Know, but, but, but that that's my point. Like that, um, that I think, if out of the two characters, out of bulk and derpy, bulk is pandering without a reason. Whereas Derpy is kind of pandering, but it still kind of had a reason to it that made sense. But Bulk, I wouldn't didn't. describe Bulk biceps as pandering at all, to be it honest, is, to the fandom. A, 
but but it but it totally was because it was totally oh okay we need a character to fulfill this role who we're going to put in oh we'll put him in because fans like him because he's got a no word. no they they put him in because he was always like kind of comedy relief in the previous episodes without any like kind of push or shove from the fandom and that's exactly what he was in this episode like I don't think that has anything to do with uh, the fandom at all to be honest but I, I think I, I do I think the uh... well, well Owen you're wrong. Your issue with uh, bulk biceps being a, a a better fly than he used or a worse fly than he used to be is kind of like the the least of the episode's problems, to be honest. Like, um, I don't want to like just completely like copy Digibony verbatim, but I'm gonna kind of like have to because I just agree with him so much on this. There's an issue with like the the whole the whole story is is Rainbow Dash's you know loyalty. Yeah. But it's it's loyalty to a team that was never going to win, obviously put together because no one else cared. Of with two candidates who were clearly just unbelievably not suited towards the. It's like it, it's it, the moral is that she should have not felt bad for wanting to to. Like it's it's hard to put into words, but it's like. You've got a team which is like this the special table, which we're never going to win. <laughs> and you've got the team which is far better suited towards her. And you've got Twilight scolding Rainbow Dash for you know, abandoning the team that was never going to win, made up of, of two teammates who you know, were 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 there because no one else cared to join you know, the team. Guys, I get I I get the I think I've heard this somewhere before. Yeah, was I this know, on Digivro seems... in this video? Hmm. I think it was. I really think but it was. I, no. I think my point, uh, like the only kind of thing that kind of got me about the teams was um, Rainbow Dash supposedly being like the best flyer in Equestria. Like, surely all of the other horses in Ponyville would like want to buddy up with her, like to be, you know, pretty much guaranteed the winning team, like not to go off and do other things. And I know that's a bit of a nitpick and like, um, it it just felt a little bit off when I was watching it. I don't know if anyone well, else got I, that. I kind, I kind of get the reverse impression that they all wanted Rainbow Dash on the team, and so she went on the one that needed the most help. But then it just why would uh, her aim is to like be the best flyer to like help the underdogs? And besides, like they weren't Fluttershy and Bulk Biceps weren't exactly like um they weren't. They wouldn't have been on the relay team, I don't think, if it wasn't for Rainbow Dash in the first place. I, I think it was the other way around. Well, no, no, it, it was it was said, like Twilight says, oh, it's nice that you joined the weaker team. Implying that she joined after, like, Fluttershy and Bulk were just left on that team. So, you know, uh, kind of... Yeah. I guess. I, I think... I guess. Right, you say earlier on about like uh, they were never going to win. So uh, Chris said it earlier on that they were never going to win. So why would she go on their team? Why would she not just, um, why would she not just go on the team that she knew was going to win? And stay there. But I f I'm going to call plot convenience here because guys, guess what time it is? It's Owen's crackpot theory time. <laughs> is it the nightmares, Owen? It's is it's, it the nightmares? <laughs> it's not the nightmares. Um, yeah, so there's a. I think there's a very good reason why they're doing these Equestria Games episodes now, and it's not just to build up to the Equestria Games happening, but um, it's also because how do I put it? They, they they've done the 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 flag carrying thing, which is basically just the opening ceremony equivalent, and now they've done an event. <laughs> And so they filled two kind of things that they would do in the actual in the actual Equestria games. So what? So when we get to that episode, they're just going to repeat what we've already seen before, and that's what's getting me. That I don't think I don't even think at this point that they will actually do an Equestria games episode. No, I'm pretty sure they won't. But this this sounds yeah. What? Wait, you agree with me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Because I've, there's I've, like because yeah. it would be stupid if they won. And yeah, like I'm, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm I'm pretty sure that they'll that it will be, um, the finale, and it will be the the Equestria Games will kind of 
take place but be interrupted by some big bad guy here to like kill everyone and the so, nightmares maybe but but yeah that's what i'm thinking is that it's not necessarily like um yeah so so i think they they're filling in these ep- these like episodes now so that they then can kind of get away with not doing it in the end because if they just built up to the Equestria games and they were just and then like by by just doing a build up to it and then nothing actually happened it would kind of feel like a cop out but they've actually done events now and okay so they're not going to win gold because there is never going to be a gold to win so I, I guess for the point of the from a writer's point of view it makes sense that she would join the team because you if you knew what was going to happen next if they didn't actually do it then they kind of had to have an episode where they made them feel like they'd won something. I, I don't know. I guess. I mean, that's. I think that's stretching it a bit. The reason I thought the games weren't going to happen is just because uh, they're a team that technically qualified, but qualifying was the point. Like, if they, if they go to the Equestria Games and they win... It's going to be like, what? how could they win with Fluttershy and Bulk Biceps? They kind of suck. And um, if they lose, then, you know, what kind of an episode is that? Ex- they get, exactly. well, they exactly. go to the yeah, Equestria Games and they lose. I don't think it's going to be, like, interfered with by some type of bad guy. I just think they're not going to do an episode on it. I, no, but I can't help but feel that they've built up for it too much for them to not even do an episode on it. But they just won't actually do the events. Like you'll just, um, like that the, it will be overshadowed by the the villain is what I'm suggesting. Uh, yeah, I I think at this point they they they're going to do another. They're going to do, they're going to do an episode with the actual Equestria Games because, uh, you know to have like oh this episode's the uh, qualifier. It's like oh that's that's exciting. That's nice. They could have just like had it be the actual like Equestria if if they. It, there's there's nothing stopping them from actually like having it as the actual Equestria games with Flutter and Bulk Biceps, because I don't know, them winning the qualifier of such a prestigious competition is about as you know stupid as them winning the whole thing anyway, or being on the podium no, I guess, which is practically what they were with the they, like they just scraped a win, they just scraped a qualification, yeah. so that it's. It's not. It's not like really far fetched. I I think, but I I just can't. I just can't see them doing an episode. I think they're go- they're going to do. They what they're doing is they're doing a cancel up wedding again, but uh, thinking ahead of thinking ahead before time. Because in a cancel up wedding, the whole the actual wedding was overshadowed by, like, the attack. And so I kind of feel that in that they'll do an Equestria Games episode where the Equestria Games is just overshadowed by an attack. Maybe. But, but, um, I don't know. I, that, that's, that's just a little thing. That's not really. Um, that's not really, kind of much to do with this episode in particular. In particular, I quite like that they did cover their asses a couple of times in this episode. Oh, so. Because well, the as I previously mentioned the where. You get the idea that, like, it, when well, I like was, a long what? Wait, uh, but by cover, I thought you meant like, I know, covering up a mistake or something. What do you mean, just the long kind of planning that they've got? No, no, no. I the... mean, I mean, I mean, they 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 covered up what could have been potential mistakes quite well, and although a lot of people have said like with the, a lot of people have said that the exposition in the episode is a bit too much and unnecessary, but I kind of thought it was fine. Um, no, I've, I've got. Okay. This is where I like okay. just parrot digibony again. But I must say there was a lot of um, redundant dialogue, and there's a lot of like treading over the same ground, and it, it suffered a bit too much of the too many pinkies, where it's like, oh, this scene again, okay, where it's going to establish the same thing, and it's a bit like, um, yeah, it, it is a kids show. It just screams of not having much faith in in kids being able to understand a story unless it's um you know the emphasis being put on it three times over and i felt that was a bit much but it didn't detract from the uh, episode uh quite like too many pinkies did so well but i i think it's it, it was bad enough that it warrants mentioning at least 
Really? We kind of really divided on this. Um, <laughs> oh, well, there was, what, two scenes where Twilight was like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that, Rainbow Dash. There were God knows how many scenes where they just established the fact that uh, Bug Biceps and Fluttershy were a bit rubbish. And I mean, like, you could show that once and that would have been all right, you know? I do think, rega- yeah, I, do, I think regardless yeah, I on your thoughts of the episode, they did... Um, kind of try and solidify certain things too much like Chris said or should I say like the Gibroni said (laughs) (laughs) but any excuse to get that glorious glorious uh, slapstick and comedy with uh, bog biceps no I it's funny because he can't get through the hoop properly how can you have liked bulk it's just it's just cartoony comedy it's like a little bit looney like, tunes and i like that p is for rainbow dash that's that's funny owen I, I why aren't you laughing oh, owen laugh. funny chris chris how can you sit there and say that peggy pie is your least favorite because she just does random jokes when bulk had one joke throughout the whole episode and that was yeah but big and i'm loud it was relevant it was relevant to the uh to the episode as opposed to a lot of like pinky's um pinky's sort of um it's where, relevant, you know, where, where Pinky would like scream randomly, and even the cast, even the characters in their show, will kind of like roll their eyes or like look, yeah, look noticeably annoyed one. by it. But when how Bob is did it, it was... Rainbow Dash not relevant, Owen? Come on. Yeah, it, exactly. That's my point. I know. I, I like it. Was it was kind of like Looney Tunesy kind of. It wasn't. It wasn't like high class comedy, but it was. It was slapsticky, funny kind of. Yeah, yeah, I didn't mind bulk I biceps did, I too didn't much. Really like him. I'm kind of glad they toned him down for the second half. Because <laughs> personally, I think the second half is far better. P um, is for podcast. Oh, we have a title for the episode. <laughs> no, You're welcome. Um, yeah, I, I just, I, I didn't really like him. Uh, you kind of, I mentioned before that he was kind of just shoved in there for no apparent reason, and oh, he was actually altered as a character to uh, to fit a role that he didn't need to be in, and all that kind of stuff. But I just feel that he was unnecessary, and I guess I guess we're gonna have to touch on we're gonna have to touch on it, aren't we? Owen, I'm getting what? the feeling you don't like bulk biceps that much. <laughs> don't like him, no. Didn't like him that much. No. But like, okay. Well, we're on the topic of uh, of, okay. of him. Okay. Once again, I'm I'm gonna like repeat God, can you just, for the Can you just time. not keep saying I'm going to repeat Digibrony <laughs> and just say it, Chris? Just, <laughs> Maybe we should ch- replace ch- Chris with Digibrony. I should just yeah. play the like 12 minute video, just like and just you know just use that. But um, yeah. like he did, did mention the yeah. he did mention how like why is Fog biceps in the in like relay when he would be much much unbelievably much better suited towards like weightlifting or another yes, event yeah, of that yeah. kind of sort it kind of seems like the massive elephant in the room especially when his own cutie mark is is a pair of weights yeah yeah I, I, that's another thing that like kind of annoys him about his involvement in the episode but, uh, I guess we, we are going to have to touch on another character's involvement in the episode aren't we yeah, that <laughs> Rainbow Dash. I thought they forced her in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> T- totally forced in. Totally forced fan in. pandering. Fan, fan pandering. About... <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So Derpy was in this episode. Did any of you guys notice? I don't know oh, what went yeah. wrong. What? Derpy in this episode? What? Is what you're meant to say. Which Which one's Derpy? Is she like the? The really I, muscular one who who yeah, says "peers" for things. I think I th- no. I think she's the purple unicorn. <laughs> the should mind yeah. her own goddamn business. Yeah. 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 Sorry, no. She's not a unicorn anymore. Is she? She's an alicorn. Alicorn. Take two. God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think uh, we have to touch on this because uh, mostly because of people's reactions. Um. People made a big deal out of it on both sides. I was pretty... Couldn't care less, to be honest. Uh, oh, it's nice. It was, that's a very uh, solid opinion, Owen. Couldn't care less. What? It was a nice nod. Um, I did, it didn't take anything away. 
Um, well, I, I, if my one of my reasonings behind not caring about it is because not only did it not take anything away, but it also kind of made sense as well. It wasn't just it. I got okay. Oh, okay. I will play fair. Of course, they put it in the episode because pandering, but at least they put it in the episode because pandering and made sense. Because unlike Bulk, who fulfilled a role that was unnecessary for him to fulfill, Derpy fulfilled a role of the last resort, of shit, everyone else is busy doing something else, we need someone here as a last resort to, you know, fill in for Rainbow Dash, and she yeah, filled that role well. You say you say pandering like it's a like it's a bad thing though. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a with a reference to the to the fandom, is there? No, I guess. But I mean, like it, I mean, it like you said, it was perfectly yeah. suited. So yeah. I mean, to, to, it was a nice little reference. It didn't take anything. It, it didn't take anything away from the episode as its own little thing, and it added a, a fair bit to 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 the fandom, and that's. That's if if they're gonna have a reference, that's the best way to do it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's personally, not... it was. It's a lot. Of, it's something that a lot of people have said is that it was a lot better than when she was first in it, because when she was first in it, it made no sense, and she kind of stole a scene completely for no apparent reason, and she spoke, and she got called a name, but this time she didn't speak, didn't get called any kind of name. It. It was fine. She was handled the way that she should have been handled two seasons ago. And if she wasn't even in mm-hmm. the episode two seasons ago, this would have been. I would have been like, one hundred percent fine with it. I'm a bit annoyed with it in that she's already had her moment to shine. I guess maybe you could say this was them fixing the last time she was in it. Well, maybe I, yeah. I, I don't know. Like it's. I, I didn't even think uh, that the her sort of. Um, her talking premiere was even that bad. Um, the, the I just don't know what went wrong. I don't. I, I don't think there's anything particularly bad in that. Chris doesn't know what went wrong with that bit. Like no, you know, no. why? Why does? Why does no one like it? Because well, once again, it was establishing. Um, it was She's establishing a scene. No, it wasn't establishing her. It was the was. It wasn't, she was a character that helped establish the fact that I don't quite remember that much about the episode, but it's about like Ponyville being um, worse for wear. I think I don't really remember that episode too well, but she was there for a purpose. Yeah, it, it solidified oh, yeah. that purpose mm. that we don't know about very well. Yeah, no, I, I do remember what he, I do remember what he's talking about. He's talking about um, that she supposedly destroyed the roof of the town hall, which is why Applejack went off to go get the money. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I but I guess in this episode it made more sense because in this episode they actually need... In, in that episode it could have just been oh, the town hall was kind of like... It was just knocked over. Like the roof was just... Or just collapsed because it's old or it just fell over in an accident. But no, they actually had to fit a role to it but this time fitting a role to it was perfectly fine because it made sense it was the whole point that they needed a character to fit a role uh, of a, a person of a, uh, the uh yeah okay last so, resort person, Owen, so i'm fine with it oh and you said like literally like 10 minutes ago that you weren't fine with it and that you disliked it and now you're like yeah i agree wait, it was good i'm gonna wait, wait, <laughs> I have a thing wait, wait, of, um... wait hold on hold on which 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 one are you talking about the first appearance or the second appearance the second you said it was pandering and it wasn't really no good no, and it was no not now you i said it was i, I said it, I, it, it's pandering he said he didn't care i said it's pandering i don't care but it added to the i don't i don't care like oh it's pandering or oh my god it's the greatest thing ever i don't care in that sense and it added to the episode. Oh. Really, when Derp is in it, she's just a character. Like that, that's that's all I care about is that she's to a be character honest, in the show. Okay, go for it, Matt. The thing that um is me about the whole Derpy bit isn't actually what happened in the episode. Like I know we're talking about the episode, so I shouldn't really mention this, no, but I thought I'd yeah. get it out of the way. It's that like the whole kind of um uh the the kind of general tone around it. It's like, oh, Derpy's back, guys. It's like, just let it be a reference. If you're going to put references and things like that in, like, that was a pretty good way of doing it. Just leave it like that. Don't, like, overhype it. Like, 
make a big deal because that's like that's the bit that annoys me not that she was mm. in the episode and if it was just like and if it's just this once in the season that then great but like if they start putting her in more and things then um like as the kind of um mute funny character i guess it's what they were going for this time because they don't want to they don't want to make her talk no matter how she does, she's going to offend someone so uh yeah I hope they don't go down that road, but it wasn't too bad in this episode. I just don't like the book. I forgot who made the tweet, but they said um, Derpy's back and she's uh, here to stay. So, which implies that she's um, going to be in it a bit more. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I do agree with you there that um, that the it was she was kind of they they kind of hyped it up a bit and then. They, Megan was saying for Megan said earlier on the week. Oh, I know the point where um, people are going to freak out this episode, and, <laughs> and I was like, and I made a joke about that in the uh, pre-episode predictions that I did. Um, it was hilarious. Yeah, it was. Well, it, what the the video you didn't see? Yeah, um, but Shh. I, <laughs> but I do get what you mean that like. If it's going to be in it, then just let it be in it. But it kind of seems like they're hyping it up too much and people are now expecting it and kind of makes me feel like they're going to be, well, where's Derpy? Where, where is she again? And I and I kind of think, well, you know, we had her. Can, can you not just have her and then be happy with it? And then if she comes up again, be surprised and not just sit around and wait for it to happen kind of thing. Just keep watching the credits of Equestria, girls. Yes, over and over and over and over again. Just watch those credits because she's in it. Chris she's sure does love his twice. Equestria girls. Oh yeah, she's like in the like bottom left corner for like half a second in an almost like uh, Bigfoot esque, you know. <laughs> uh, oh, oh yeah, and it is, ruined yeah. the entire movie. Of course it did. It was yeah, actually, good. it was a 10 out of 10, 100% satisfaction rate. The only people that don't like Equestria Girls uh, saw the credits and they got mad. There's no yeah. possible other conceivable reason to not like Equestria Girls. But but Equestria Girls can be fixed. With uh, that song? No, not with the song. With, with, with just how... Eh, never mind. Anyway. Um, what was the joke? The, the joke was that I did a video on that. Oh. <laughs> well, I win this and the joke's not working. Yeah, I, I know. Well. It's, it's, not, it's not working. It's worthless. <laughs> no point. Um, oh, anything else in particular that I can think of? Oh, I, I like how uh, the Soren thing came back. How not, not that he was in it. I mean, how it was a thing that he crashed and that was the reason why they wanted Rainbow on the team was because they were one person down. And then she comes back. Oh, he comes back. Sorry, and he's but he came back in a way that I didn't expect in the slightest. I honestly didn't expect. Yeah, that was unpredictable. To, to team up, yeah, that that wasn't kind of, and it wasn't kind of out of nowhere either. It was the kind of that it was something that it felt right. It felt like yeah, it was reasonable. Should happen, and you you kind of when you when you watched it, you kind of thought, oh yeah, Soren's like in hospital, isn't he? And I liked. Out, I liked how Applejack shoved food in people's faces. Yes. She has a habit of doing that, sticking her mouth in, like, sorry, sticking her hand <laughs> thing sticking in Sticking her um, mouth in people's mouths? Whoa. Oh, what have you <laughs> been reading? <laughs> what websites have you been on, Matt? I didn't. Were you, were you watching the Shush. same episode? <laughs> but, yeah, oh. like, it's just, <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop now. You've got to um, fail, yeah. I forget what those things were called. They were like apple betties or something. Something like that, yeah. I've, I've never, I've never had them, but now I want to try. <laughs> oh, that's all you want to say, but I, I need to keep the uh, the language PG. Never mind. Okay, yeah, keep it PG. <laughs> um, so I, I just realised something. We we never went over my general thoughts on the episode. Thanks, oh God, guys. Oh, oh sorry, it doesn't matter. I, we apologise. What are your general thoughts on the episode? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> that was worth it. That was totally what, guys. That was it. Thank you yeah, for listening to the question. I was, <laughs> no. I was, I was making a funny. The episode was um, 
I would just, I can't really think of anything else to describe it other than mediocre. I mean, there were flaws in it, and there were good things about the episode. I thought it was quite funny for the most part, but there are definite flaws. But there were, you know, like Owen said about before, the uh, Soren's wing thing that was uh, pretty well done. So, yeah, mm. I guess the balance would just be it was um, average. I, I don't get how people could... Uh, I, I'm flip flopping here, but I, I, I think it, I think it deserves a bit more than average because it had there there were major issues, and I I really don't like just like I said before, I really don't like the fact that uh, kind of Rainbow Dash was kind of like uh, coerced and peer pressured into staying with a team that was much lower than you know what what she kind of deserves herself as an athlete, but. Um, you know, it, it had you know the character interaction that people like. It had the nod to the uh, fan base that was subtle and that people really enjoyed. It had uh, you, the, it had the really cartoon just, slapstick. It, it was had... it was subtle. <laughs> I don't well, think it was. was it was well if, done, if, but it wasn't if, subtle. It was yeah. subtle because if nobody, uh, it's subtle because if n nobody was aware of the fandom, they wouldn't be like, okay, that's a bit jarring. Who, who's who's that? I mean, like it. it mm. If it's like, um, I'm trying to think of an example now that well, that's happened. But um, um, when has that happened? Has that happened? I I, I can't think of like the like um the last derpy bit is the most jarring, bit, and that wasn't even that jarring. Like I don't think that is um something that you really need to take into account because they're not they're not that bad with the fan pandering type stuff, but. I, I get what you mean. It was like seamlessly integrated, but it was yeah. still like it, it, it was anything but subtle. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Matt here. And they, but like like I said, it had it had the good slapstick humor that we all agree was 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 good cartoony. No, no. funnies. No. Yes, it was Owen. No, no. Okay, and people who matter agree that it's all good cartoon funnies. <laughs> people who yeah. didn't get through the hoop properly, and then when they did the relay, he did go through the hoop. That shows that he practiced character, character progression, <laughs> progression of Bok biceps. Yeah, who, who got regressed for this episode? If you could even say it like that, yeah. And then Whatever. he built himself back up. Yeah. I it was the damage from all the steroids he'd been taking. Guys, guys, we've touched on this already. We don't need to touch on it again. Um, oh, that but... horse te testosterone he's been taking. <laughs> yeah, Owen a... just cut me off from my funny joke. I did, yeah. Thanks, there Owen. Is a, there's a very big thing that we've missed that's even bigger than Derpy, though. Are you, tr are you trying to call Derpy fat, Owen? Like, I think yeah. you've done enough damage already. Yeah. No, um... Of uh, second key, two out of five, two out of six, ass. T two down, four to go, as it were. That flag didn't look like a key, I mean. Wasn't the flag? <laughs> like, what, what, what was it? Her crazy it eyes, or it what? It was the lightning bolt at the end. Yeah, like the medallion badge the little, thing. Yeah, the little the little badge lightning bolt. Yeah, did you not see that, Chris? Yeah, I saw that, the little cuff thing yeah. type thing, but like, yeah. how, it was why did you get a key, key from that? Because. It's the same as the spool of Fred in Rarity's episode two episodes ago. Oh. Owen, please. It it we, is. We know it's related to the um the toys. We don't know if it's directly related to the keys. No, it totally is. It it, it totally is. They transform into a key because magic. The the rainbow power toys and the keys and the box, they're all related. Well, like, I don't get how that's like such an like an easy thing. You can go, yeah, of course, because well, I get the thing of it's a the weird coloured, I... the weird coloured rainbow and the rainbow the power toys. Bone. Yes, oh, the, the, shut up, Owen. That's what I call it. I call it a friend. But... Shut up, Owen. <laughs> <laughs> Those are um, I can completely see like that is obvious. That's going to happen, especially if you've uh, seen spoilery stuff around. But um. The thing about that being related to the key is, I don't get how you think that's such an easy thing to draw a conclusion to. Because the 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 keys are supposed to be kind of a a, a season wide thing. Well, no, what the keys well, aren't laid well, out to be yeah. anything yet. What? Well, no, no, it's been. Said. We're only assuming that. Well, yeah, we're assuming based on very kind of 
very strong evidence from what evidence that... they showed the box with all the keys and then they never that... mentioned it again that Megan said on Twitter that <laughs> Owen <laughs> <laughs> I know I, I no I I totally got where you're coming from though that it is it's a pain in the ass for me to sit here and say it's keys because I totally think that it is really obviously the keys but it's hard to convince you that it's the keys well I think if you mention the nightmares somehow having an effect on the items to turn them into keys then I'll completely agree with you <laughs> well, that is going to be my crackpot theory well, from I on. don't understand is how, how you get a spool of thread and a sort of medallion type thing and how they work themselves into being keys how do they walk themselves exactly, into yeah. the plot they're obviously saying, key shaped they're obviously key shaped they're gonna, the, the there's going to have to be keys, the, physical keys at some point and that's it's, not them it's not the just lightning that bolt is obvious, is, the, the lightning bolt is a lot more key shaped but it's, than it's, the spool of thread it's what kind of, that. What kind of keys that. do you have Owen? It, uh, what kind of keys could, do you unlock your house with? do they look you, like lightning bolts? I don't think no. they do but it's a thin object that's kind of but it's that's jagged. that's not even the point how do they okay it's the last episode of season 4 okay and they're all like quick? like the, the, let me paint the picture it's the last episode of season 4 <laughs> and they're all like hey this box let's try and open it and then and rarity goes well let me try that crazy rainbow thread <sighs> that i have and rainbow's all like yeah when that uh, medallion that i got uh, three months ago, you know that I'm sure and, that's got something to do. Like, how do they walk themselves into? And Twilight's um, all like, "I'm God, know. I'll turn them into keys." Yeah, I it, don't, it doesn't I make don't, sense. Rainbow power, yeah, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not. That's I'm, why I'm, we I'm, think your theory is stupid, Owen. Because, how can't because, you get that? You don't know. You don't even have a theory for it. Because at the moment, my theory has a beginning and an end, but not a middle. But the Owen. Like, that's one of the key points of a story. You kind of need that bit to, like, create a theory. I, I know, but that's... that's like, I, I, okay, whenever I do a video, I have a saying to myself, well, if I can't convince myself, then I won't make a video on it. I can't convince myself, but I can convince myself enough to stick by it for now. Owen, can you please tell us how... Can you walk us through how they go from, like... Yeah, <laughs> let me just get that rainbow thread because I'm sure that's going to have something. I don't know. To Maybe they all have like, like flashbacks and like they're at the box and they just have like really like plot convenient flashbacks to like oh, the thread. Maybe. <laughs> you you know it could be anything. It could be crap. It could be. Like, Did anyone really... else's eyes hurt when like we got those items that like sparkled in that weird way? Oh yeah, yeah. I noticed that too. Maybe that has something to do with that weird box we saw like a year ago. Oh, I completely <laughs> forgot about that. Shut up, guys! I hate you so much. <laughs> he like, says like a, a pooch, yes, kind of like uh, just a just a like twenty seconds of the episode where it just says in like permanent marker, the horses then found out that the items were keys and used them and opened the box because there's no other way that you can't actually like come up with the keys a... now. The box needs us. <laughs> The book just actually like talks like I really want yes. that thread and that cuff thing and the box just wants the stuff. It just Oh when we found like a major God, major fault you with your me? We found a major fault with your crazy theory and you're still sticking by it. That is Oh and you're okay. wrong. Yeah. I'm still sticking I was still sticking by it because when at the end of season four I am wrong, it's I will be the gladly, nightmares again. I will gladly say I'm wrong. When nightmares. at the end of season four I am right, I will say I stuck by my guns, even That's when you the thing. said I was wrong. That's the thing about like bullshit theories. Like if um if you say something and it's completely wrong, everyone will forget about it. But if you say something and you just happen to be right, you're a genius. No, because you will remind me of it by the uh, by the end. Oh of the yeah, season. like um, the situation's completely different for anyone but us because we're going to uh, make fun of you, like we did with the nightmares. You didn't even make fun of me with the nightmares that much, and we still, still do still, with the nightmares I, because I still said that it could still happen, and I'm still going to stick by only that. Only on and the hub. If I'm, so yes, they've actually changed their slogan. It's not it could happen only on the hub anymore. Shh. 
<gasps> what is it? Don't ruin my funny jokes. I, I don't know, but they've changed it because they've got like this whole. Is this new... another theory? The hub's gonna have a new <laughs> motto. I guys, I don't know what the motto is or how it's gonna happen, but I think there might be a new one. <laughs> guys, why don't you believe me? <laughs> I hate you guys so much. So yeah, it's totally a key. What was this um, about the My Little Pony episode? It's about this key thing that's oh, totally yeah. happening and it's totally a key. Um, and I'm not. I'm gonna stick by my guns until I'm right. And if I'm wrong, then I will admit I'm wrong. You know who else has guns? Who? Bulk, Bulk biceps. biceps. Who was a great character? I think <laughs> that's a good a point to uh, move on to the uh, ratings. If you guys don't have uh, anything else to uh, say. Nope. I, I sure don't. I, I sure don't, no. No. Ah, uh, so. Uh, Matt, rating out of 10. I rate this episode a 6 out of 10. Okay. Chris, out of 10. Um, I give it a uh, watch Digibonies analysis for my opinions on this episode out of 10. Okay. I give it a 8 out of 10 and a, uh, a, a, a badge that is totally a key. So that makes it a seven. Yes, on average. The official Equestria Confidential rating, a seven out of ten, and Owen is wrong about pretty much everything. Seven out of Owen is... <laughs> seven and Owen is wrong out of ten. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, I'll go for that. I'll go for that. <laughs> so that concludes, time. that concludes this week's episode of the Equestria Confidential podcast. Uh, thank you everyone for listening if you are listening to this on the live stream then please go and check out all of our other stuff everywhere on the internet uh, go check out the YouTube channel uh, which you can find at youtube.equestriaconfidential.co.uk and you can find Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus and Tumblr through that same method with uh, it's tumblr.equestriaconfidential.co.uk twitter.etc facebook.etc and google.etc for Google Plus uh, if you have an email, then please send us an email, contact at equestriaconfidential.co.uk, and we will read it out live on the podcast next week. Uh, at the same time, same place next week, so if you are listening, and or if you're not, if you've missed it, then you'll find a link in the description where you can watch it next week. And of course, we'll keep you updated when it's live and all of our social media stuff, even Google+, Plus, which is strange, because <laughs> we never we never post on that. Um if you've got some glorious fan content that you would like to submit to us, then please do via the submit page on the Equestria Confidential website. Go on equestriaconfidential.co.uk forward slash submit. Only glorious content, though. No, all None content of that is glorious. Other content. All content is glorious, Matt. It's fan content. No, all of our listeners' content is glorious. No yes. one else's content. Yeah, if you're not listening to the Equestria Confidential podcast, your content is not glorious. That listening to the podcast immediately makes your content glorious. We love you. We love you. Um, uh, anything else I've missed? No, that's it. Uh, nope. Check on the website for news and such every so often, equestriaconfidential.co.uk. And to all of you listening live right now, stick around for the post-podcast show. And look forward be... to next week's episode where we will laugh at home for being wrong again. Well, we're covering the next episode next week as well. I won't say what it is, but it's looking to be a good one. So, um, Thanks. leave it there. So, um, yes, if you're listening now, then stick around because we've got the post-podcast show coming up where you can talk to us and answer, ask questions and we will answer them in the chat and on the live stream and everything and it's going to be amazing. Right. So, from all of us at Equestria Confidential... We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Chris, are you And we'll see Chris, you again you okay? next week. Am I okay? Bye, every horse. Nay. <laughs> yeah. Nay. I just yeah. had, like, heavy breathing on your <laughs> end. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Like, I didn't know whether I needed to call an ambulance or something. <laughs> Bye!